Hi, so today we're going to talk about The Rose and the Beast, and this book was really interesting because it was a retelling of all the fairy tales that we're familiar with in our childhood, like Snow White, Little Red Riding Hood. Um, so one of the stories that I found particularly interesting and I wrote my essay about um, is Charm, uh, which is right about here. Charm. Um, and basically, Charm was about... Uh, teenage girl who was going through like a semi-modeling career with um, elder men who you know uh, were and she was getting uh, taken pictures of and um, it was she talks about you know how it was so devastating that she had to take opium um, one of the quotes I can provide you with is um, you know, just like the first sentence really it says, she felt like the girl in the fairy tale. Maybe there had been some uh, some kind of curse, inevitable that she would prick her arm, not her finger, with the needle. Um, so this introduction of opium kind of gives us a better grasp of you know what Charm's life is really like. Um, oh, I'm sorry, not Charm. Uh, the girl who is actually experienced as, as Rev. Um, Charm uh, is introduced in the latter part of the book and she's actually um, uh, Rev's kind of savior. Um, uh, she basically, Rev is taken to Charm's house and um, that's when, uh, it's like her first, you know, time, the first time Rev is actually being saved by someone. Um, it says, get off her, a voice screamed like the soul Rev no, lo no longer had, uh, right here on page 81. And basically, it was just like the first time, you know, somebody actually stood up for Rev because she, you know, was at a young age, her parents sent her off to um, this modeling career that she obviously isn't okay with. And um, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of signifiers after this point that kind of introduced the idea that um, that Rev was going through a baptism. Um, this is kind of basically what I wrote my essay about. Uh, there's there's subtle details that kind of suggest that this whole introduction to charm is a baptism. Um, it says, uh, let's see where it is. Right. Um, it says so basically she charm offers Rev a bath, and that's kind of where I got everything. Um, talks about the sacred grove and uh, banana trees, bird of paradise, um, the pale woman helped rev to the bathroom, um, you know, just like a lot of details that deal with purity and the idea of um, rev being helped by this uh, girl named Chan. And so the Rose and Beast has a lot of other stories that kind of deal with this idea of um, an inferior main character that's dealing with this uh, external circumstances, uh, and, you know, basically how they deal with it. A lot of um, the, the consequences in here are sexual, abusive, um, the relationship between the actual girl and a male exterior um, may be like the dad or you know just like a, a guy that's you know harassing the girl it's there's that's a common theme seen throughout all these stories in um this whole book and uh basically this book is set up so like each story is individual and um each story has uh it's a retelling of a fairy tale so uh just to you know give you another idea of um, another story in this book that kind of just talks about this idea of um, sexual abuse and um, just like the retelling of a story. Uh, we can look at um, we can look at bones, uh, which is when basically um, the first part of bones says, "I dreamed of being a part of the stories, even terrifying ones." even horror stories, but at least the girls in the stories were alive before they died. So this kind of introduction gives us a really um, dense, you know, sentence that, oh, this girl is obviously not feeling lively and uh, how she should be, you know, 
at such a young age. I believe she's, I want to say she's um, in her preteens, but I could be wrong. Um, anyways, so she goes to this party. She's really used to this partying lifestyle that um, she kind of like goes to clubs and parties and has safe sex with boys. I didn't know. Usually pretty safe is what they say. Um, and so basically there is a guy named Derek Blue and he kind of um, brings her back and he's like, oh, like, let me tell you a story. And he like tells her the story about all the girls that he's been with in the past. And it's very terrifying because, you know, there's this random guy that comes up to her and is just like, oh, like, let me tell you the story about um, how I'm, what I'm going to do to you, what I did to other girls. And so um, uh, that was just like, he kind of was, is seen as a psychotic, um, and that kind of element of psychology and, um, mental instability is seen throughout all these, uh, books and in this, all these stories in this book. Um, but yeah, so basically this whole book is a good collection of retellings of fairy tales in ways that are skewed and you wouldn't see you wouldn't think that they would be skewed in certain ways talking about um sexual abuse and like uh your superior men it's just like not something you see in fairy tales but overall i really enjoyed this book and um i look forward to talking about the next one